every news agency, we paid them good money. Do you know of national media that have had oh, some? Oh, yes, problems? yes. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on social media. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Repetition is a wonderful form of mind control control exactly what people think and that is the that is if our you, job what information are you putting in there because that information will be translated directly into your biology program people's perceptions because from perceptions comes behavior this information that's being put out there it's lies upon lies upon lies we want the truth no more control, control. turn off the news This is about how the media and some of the intelligence community have been together for over 60 years. You will understand who controls the media, who controls Hollywood. When there's a few of you, and compared with the global population, they are very few, you can't control people physically. You can do it in a certain area through, the, through troops and the army, and what they want to do is do it absolutely through connecting AI to the human brain. But for the moment, they can't. How you have to do it is you have to program people's perceptions because from perceptions comes behavior. It's a real simple thing. Your perceptions become your behavior. And you go one step back, where do your perceptions come from? They come from information received. So if you control the information, the constant narrative, and most people just believe it because that's all they hear. Repetition is a wonderful, magnificent form of mind control. You control the information you overwhelmingly control perception among those that don't question. And from perception, you control behavior. Even the Air Force Office of Special Investigations Officer Richard Doty admitted that he would bring bags of cash to major media to get their cooperation. So every news agency, every television, radio station in the Albuquerque or Santa Fe area had our snitches in there. So we knew and we paid them. We paid them good money. Do you know of national media that have had Oh, some yes, problems? yes, yeah. Here's something that was posted from a TV station, KSAT, breaking news, first COVID-19 related death reported in San Antonio. So a woman in her 80s died at Brook Army Medical Center on Saturday, officials announced. Now here's the kicker. This is the family member, Ashley Zara Farrell, off that person. It says KSAT12 and KSAT.com. I must say I'm highly disappointed at your lack of facts. My grandmother did not pass away at a San Antonio MMC. She passed away at a local inpatient hospice facility. Remember hospice is for people that are terminal, that are going to die. She did not pass away from COVID-19. She passed away from Alzheimer's that she had had suffered from for the past 12 years and a case of aspiration pneumonia that worsened her ailing state. Shame on you, KSAT. We are creating our life experiences with our consciousness. And then the question is, where are you getting your consciousness from? What information are you putting in there? Because that information will be translated directly into your biology. We're sure as heck not given, hey, things are okay. We're being told we're all gonna die. Put that picture in your mind and let me know what kind of chemistry is coming out of your brain. Well, I can tell you stress hormones and cytokines. And this is where the problem is coming from. I'm going to share something with you right now, and I want everybody to go and watch this, okay? It's called outofshadows.org. Go there and watch that movie. That is, it's about an hour and a half long movie, Out of Shadows, and you will understand who controls the media, who controls Hollywood. They explain some other things at the end, but this is about how the media and how some of the intelligence community have been together for over 60 years, watch the documentary, and then you tell me what's going on. What are the things that are in our control? What we watch when we get home, what we listen to when we're in our car. I think that those are the powerful things, and ultimately our behavior is what's gonna define our success.